Hey there, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reading from The Red Cow by Peter McCarthy. This is a skift of snow. Last night we had a skift of snow. And it was interesting to notice the effect on the summer born creatures on the farm. A plump young kitten had not seen the pesky stuff before he came to meet me from the stable, jumping like a rabbit. At the end of every jump, she would stop and say, Ow! in tones that seemed several times too large for her body. When I reached her, she stood lifting one foot after another and shaking off the clinging flakes, only to get a fresh supply every time she put her foot down. Of course, it was mean to roll her over in the snow, but I have no doubt it gave her an appetite for breakfast, and it could be defended on the best hygienic grounds. The first thing I noticed about the snow was that my new winter boots do not promise much comfort. For the snow melted on them and my toes got so cold I had to step cautiously for fear that they would snap like icicles. The young turkeys were complaining noisily from the apple tree where they roost at night, but evidently thinking that my appearance at the barn meant the near approach of feeding time, they started to fly the full distance. They seemed to realize that the white stuff on the ground meant cold toes for them, but they didn't improve matters much by flying. They landed on top of the haystacks, where the snow seemed to lie the deepest, and on top of the granary, where they clawed around on the slippery surface and mussed themselves up generally. Chili turkey is just about as unattractive looking a bird as anyone could hope to see. They fluffed up their feathers so as to get a layer of entangled air around them, and pulled in their necks. Really, they looked more like turkey buzzards than Christmas dinners. But a month of living high on cornmeal and shorts will doubtless make them fit for market.